विंड पावर इज द कन्वर्जन ऑफ विंड एनर्जी इन टू वेरियस यूजफुल फॉर्म ऑफ एनर्जी सच एज यूजिंग विंड टर्बाइंस टू जनरेट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी यूजिंग विंड सेल्स टू प्रोपेल द शिप्स यूजिंग विंड पम्प्स टू डी वॉटर एंड पम्पिंग वॉटर एंड यूजिंग विंड मिल्स फॉर मैकेनिकल एनर्जी वेन वी टॉक अबाउट द फ्यूचर ऑफ विंड एनर्जी विंड एनर्जी हैज सीन अ एक्सपेंशन इन द लास्ट ट्वेंटी ईयर्स and there has been an exponential growth when it comes to the installed capacity of wind energy wind energy has grown by 75 times in the last 20 years thus the future of wind energy is very very bright there are various advantages of wind energy first and foremost it is a clear source of energy secondly it is very very cost effective last but not least it is sustainable form of energy hence we can see that there are various advantages of wind energy over conventional sources of energy in the last 20 years we have observed a major jump in the uses of wind energy compared to the conventional sources of energy now conventional sources of energy have observed a steady growth in the last 20 years but when we talk about wind energy wind energy had an exponential growth both globally and in india now when we talk about the installed capacity of wind energy in, in india itself from 2005 to 2020 we have seen a jump of almost 6 times in the installed capacity of wind energy this itself speaks about the growth of wind energy both in in india and globally there are various perils to which a wind energy or a wind turbine is exposed to now when we talk about the perils related to property damage we have fire lightning tsunami earthquake hail storm storm then you have other man made perils like fire burglary theft we also have a third party liability peril and a business interruption perils so these are the various perils associated with a windmill there are various ways of managing risk associated with a wind farm number 1 whenever we are putting up a wind farm we should always try to look into the eq zone we should always try to look into the exposures of earthquake tsunami hail storm is a big factor so we should always look into the designing of the wind farm blades we should look into the clearance area so that there is no possibility of a bush fire or a forest fire we should also look into other ways like structure designing loading etc there are various insurance solutions when it comes to insuring your wind farm or your wind turbine there are policies like fire policies industrial all risk policies and various liability policies to cover the various exposures associated with a wind farm or a wind turbine in a ir policy you can also cover the risk of your business interruption while the third party liability risk can be covered under various liability policies <music>